Hello everyone, welcome back to Academically. In my previous video, uh, there are so many questions you ask about the CAPS exam. And this is, I personally feel that this is like a lack of clarity. Still, you are asking some kind of these questions, you know. So in this video, I'm going to cover all these 10, 10 questions. You frequently you ask to me about the CAPS exam, whether you are a student, whether you are a pharmacist or you are a lecturer. So this question will cover in all these questions. So please watch the full video. The first question the student asked me, what is the CAPS exam? So CAPS exam basically a knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences. So this is basically they will check your knowledge what you study in your four year bachelor of pharmacy most of the subject they will ask um from those questions only okay once you pass this exam then you are going to be equivalent to a australian pharmacist they will just want to check any overseas pharmacist want to practice in australia they must need to pass this knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences exam the next question is the what is the qualification required for the caps exam so you must have a bachelor degree in pharmacy, minimum four year bachelor degree in pharmacy, plus you must registered in your home country, then only you can sit in this exam. So some of you always ask me that you are a PharmD and you just completed your fifth year, you are doing internship, whether you are eligible or not. So answer is no, because you cannot sit, they need registration. So you complete your bachelor degree, whether it is a B form or PharmD or M form, plus you must registered in your home country then you are eligible the next question is that can we write this exam from india yes you can write this exam from your home country so india have a eight center pakistan have two center nepal also have one center and uae also have so maximum countries have the exam centers you can write the exam from your home country in india we have a eight centers basically delhi noida gulgam three center in, uh, in delhi ncr then if we go to mumbai and pune and then Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Chennai. These are the eight centers in India. Two centers in Pakistan, one center in Nepal. So if you are around those countries, so easily, basically maximum countries have this center to write this exam. So next one is the how much fee required to uh, sit in this CAPS exam. So there is two steps you need to pay to the Australian Pharmacy Council the fees. First step, when you are applying your initial skill assessment with the Australian Pharmacy Council, then you need to pay around 1310 Australian dollar. If I convert it into, into the Indian rupees, it's at around 71,000 Indian rupees. And secondly, you need to pay when you are uh, applying for the um, for the exam. Basically, you need to book the exam once you've done your skill assessment. In that time, you need to pay the out two two three zero australian dollars so uh, in indian rupees if i convert it uh both around uh, like two lakh indian rupees around you need to pay for the skill assessment plus exam fees next thing is the what is the pattern of the exam uh for this so caps, caps exam is a very very easy exam as i told in my previous so many videos so the pattern they will ask you the hundred questions basically in a two exam paper one and paper two and 50 percent you need to score in the each exam so basically uh they will ask you uh the two hour exam first then there is a one hour break then you need to write for another two hour exam and this is another 100 questions so the 200 questions in four hours you need to give the exam and there is no negative marking so you need to attend all 100 questions next question you always ask me that sir is there any uh, work experience required to sit in the exam or when we are applying to visa also so the answer is no no need to have any work experience if you are applying as a pharmacist uh, um, to want to sit in the CAPS exam. But if you want to apply for the industrial pharmacist or pharmacy technician, in that case, the experience required. Otherwise, experience is not required. You are a fresher student. You can sit in the exam. You can pass the exam. You can migrate to Australia. Next question is the how much should I score to pass the CAPS exam? So basically, 50% you need to score overall. And each component also you need to score 50%. For example, pharmacology, physiology, and for pharmaceutical chemistry, this is the paper one. So you need to score 50% in pharmaceutical chemistry and 50% in the physiology and pharmacology. Next question is the, what are the two uh, papers for the CAPS exam? The paper one basically is the pharmaceutical chemistry plus pharmacology and physiology and paper two mostly the pharmaceutics plus pharmacotherapy. So these are the two papers you need to pass and 50% you need to score and each paper also you need to score overall 50% and each 
component also need to score 50 percent then uh, number nine question when will get the result and how long will the score uh, be the valid so basically uh within two to three weeks you will receive the result and you will uh, receive a pdf format your exam result and this pdf i mean this letter you need to apply when you are applying for your visa and this is valid for three years means within three years you need to come to australia start your practicing okay and once you register in australia this is like lifelong but every year you need to renew as like same in our countries so last question that where, where can you find the course for caps exam preparation so academically provide the comprehensive uh, course for you will cover a to z each and everything you know no need to see anything apart from this we do not recommend to see or read any other book we have a all the things we covered basically we provide live sessions provide your study material and there's a mock test and so many other things where we, we, we will cover so very easily you can pass the exam in our last exam 93 percent student passed in their first attempt okay so, so this is the end of 10 uh, frequently asked questions and i hope i'll cover all of your questions but still if you have any questions please leave a comment below so i will try to cover in my next video so i will see you in my other video thank you bye